Okay, um, I'm not seeing any more questions right now. I'm not sure if that's my computer being slow or... So yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, we can... If not, we can go ahead and move on. All right. Okay, we will um, go on and we will talk about what is coming up with you. Um, you have a bunch of classes, a bunch of things, so you wanted to talk about all of that. Uh, so you have just released a Craftsy class, mm -hmm. um, your Cake Topper Techniques for Fond of Animals. Yeah. And then what's your other, you actually have two classes, so what was your other one? Uh, the other one's the Castle Cake class. The Castle Cake, that's right. Yeah, so with that, a lot of people always ask, you know, um, the most common question I get is how you get those sharp edges and things like that. And, you know, it, it is done with ganache um, and that class. Not only does it show you how to do the castle, but in the beginning it shows you how to set up the cake with the ganache and then how to um, sharpen the edges. And basically I just use um, two clear fondant smoothers to sharpen it. And um, it goes through the techniques of, of what, well, not the techniques, but the method of, of how I do it and it's actually a lot of it has to do with the pressure of your hands and once you get it it's like riding a bicycle once you get it you won't forget it so it's a matter of just practicing perfect that sounds like a really good one you know so yeah. it's definitely a good one to check, to check out and um, someone just asked uh, how large the, the castle is in that. the castle um, the top cupcake is about it's quite big, but the bottom, sorry, the, I'll start from the bottom. The bottom's an 8-inch cake, the middle is a 6-inch cake, and then the top is actually another 6-inch cake that has been carved down and put back into that cupcake shape. Okay. So that, oh, that's another thing you learn from that tutorial as well, is how to carve the cake um, in a slightly different way, because what I do is when we carve it, we actually put back the scraps into the cake. So in a sense, like if you know that cake will serve like, 20 people, you know, by carving and putting it back in, you will still serve that 20 people, mm -hmm. as opposed to throwing it away, so you have a lot less wastage. Okay, very cool. Okay, and then you have a downloadable tutorial that's on your website, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that just recently came out as well, so it's a 3D Stegosaurus cake tutorial, so it walks you through how to create a, a standing kind of structure and it's quite a simple structure although you do need a drill and a hot glue gun but other than that it's quite a simple structure um, and you know you build it and it teaches you how to do the legs so that it's still got a bit of movement even though obviously there is a dowel in the leg mm -hmm. um, and a bit of airbrushing a bit of a little bit of everything really <laughs> carving um, modeling in there Okay. So that's that's my biggest tutorial yet. It's got over a hundred photos in there, and it's really long. I think it was I can't remember how many pages it is now, but it's quite long. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. You know, we we like the information. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it it looks like a really cool stegosaurus too. Thank you. And then you have a bunch of classes coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like uh, you have some in. July, September, November, and you're all over the, the world, so... Yeah, this year has just been a little bit crazy. It was never like that last year, and it only started being a bit crazy like that this year. But in July, I'm heading to Indonesia, to Jakarta, with Heavenly Sweet, and then in um, and then after that, I'm heading to Malaysia, to Kuala Lumpur, with um, Buns in the Oven Cupcakery. And then in September, I'm off to Melbourne, with um, Three Sweeties. And November and December, I'm back in London with Fair Cake. And then I'm really excited to announce, because you guys are the first to know, that I'm going to be in the U.S. in October and in December. So in October, it's with Baking Arts, and you can contact them to get placed on the mailing list. Um, the classes are still yet to be decided. And then in December, it's in New York, and with that, you can contact me to be placed on the waiting list. So that will be very exciting. Um, I can't wait, really. Awesome. Well, that sounds like fun. I, yeah. How fun to just, you know, go all over the world and, and just cake. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> it's fun until you start realizing you're running out of clean clothes and you haven't had a proper home-cooked meal in a while. So. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess it, it, 
you know, and teaching, I know a lot of people think, oh, that would be the job, you know, just yeah. just teach all the time, but I, all of us that have taught, you know, that it's a lot of work getting ready for the teaching. You know, you have to oh, yeah, just the time. amount of prep is, is unbelievable, and then the amount of cakes that a lot of my hosts have to bake is like hundreds, you know, and... And I just see them baking day and night, and a lot of the times, you know, they run out of space. Like right now, I'm in Singapore, and they had to hire in a uh, like an extra fridge and stuff to to store all the cakes. And you know, still they ran out of space, so they can only bake to whatever space they have. And only when we start running the classes and and depleting the stock, they can start baking again. Yeah, so it's it's crazy. Yeah, it it really is. It really is. So everybody out there that's learning from your teachers. Be grateful for them. They do a lot of work. <laughs> so yeah, um, we did have somebody ask uh, ask about what, where is the site for the Stegosaurus tutorial? Um, again, oh, it's on my website. Yeah. Yeah, and it's under the um, if you go to the online store section, it's under the online tutorials um, bit under there. So I've got that plus a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Okay. And then the Crafty class, we're going to actually uh, share a link with you guys in just a minute. Um, let's see. And also another place where they can contact you is through Facebook. So you have your Facebook page. Uh, oh, I just put we. It's two E's. I'm sorry. What? And we, we oh, love yes. you. W -E, e because of your last name. Okay, so yeah. W E E love baking uh, on your yeah. Facebook. I'm sorry about That's messing okay. that up. I'm sure they'll work it out. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. Go find, go find Sharon on Facebook. We W E E Love Baking, and uh, her her website we love baking dot com. And yeah, how about we ask one of the questions? Yeah, um, sure. I thought it was a really fun question. Uh, what do you predict as a hot trend for 2014? Um, that's a good one for. Wedding cakes, um, I see a lot of like, I don't know, in Australia we kind of get things a little bit behind the US, so if you're asking me based on Australia, I'll just tell you what I've seen in the US, so the rustic thing is really popular at the moment, but in terms of next year, I see a lot of textures happening on cake, you know, um, whether it be through not just ruffles, but a lot more like um, lace kind of textures and, and things like that, and then in terms of just other types of cakes in general, I think a lot more structural things now because people are getting a little bit more adventurous, you know, so we're trying to move away from the standard type cakes and we're trying to do more structure, more this and more kind of gravity defying cakes and things like that. I find um, we're moving more towards. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's what I like to see anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. for like weddings also or do you think that? Uh, Maybe not so much. Weddings, I'm hoping that um, a bit more color, people will be, especially in Australia, people will be a bit more adventurous with color. Um, people are still doing bursts here and there, but not bold colors like you see in, in the U.S. as yet. So I'm hoping they'll be a bit more adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. It's, it's very interesting to see the difference between, you know, the U.S. and, you know, like Australia or the U.K., we, yeah. we have different trends that are going on, so it's not a worldwide thing necessarily. No, I mean sometimes we get influenced here and there because you know all the like wedding blogs and things like that are all basically worldwide now. Um, so you know if brides see something from the U.S. and they bring it to us, and that's kind of how we get influenced as well. Thank you, Sharon, for coming and and joining us today, and especially for getting up so early in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and thank you everybody who came uh, and, and joined us. Uh, I, and thanks to all the, the new people, all the people that have been with us from the start. You guys are awesome. And uh, if you guys aren't friends with us on Facebook, um, go ahead and find us on Facebook. We're uh, Cake Foo, just, just Cake Foo on Facebook. And uh, I, I uh, started a comment, or a, I, I guess I made a comment on there. I'm going to start calling you guys my CFFs, my cake food friends. <laughs> I like that. I think that'll be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, again, thank you so much, and we will see you guys all next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.